Hello, I'm Greg. Welcome to my channel, Midnight Oil Software. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tip that's going to improve the speed of your workflow. It's going to enable you to test functionality in your game that you haven't wired up yet. In other words, you have functionality that's been coded, but you don't have any buttons or click handlers or any other kind of interaction that would trigger that functionality, but you still want to test it. We're going to show you how you can do that right from within the inspector. So for example, if we switch over to my monitor view here, and you can see I've got this scene here with a orbiting camera that's orbiting around this game board. And you can see there's a die that's sitting there pausing in the middle of the board. And let's say I want to test that die rolling functionality before I've actually wired it up to a click event handler. Well, if we go take a look at the D6 object here and we look at the die roller script that's on there, we scroll down and we see there's a function on here called roll die. And that function is what's going to actually add the force and the torque to send that die flying into the air and bouncing off the walls and rolling. And you'll notice I have decorated that function with a context menu attribute. So jumping back out into Unity, if I was to right click on this die roller script in the inspector and click roll die, boom, the die rolls. And there you go. And you can see it knows I rolled a four. All right, but let's say I want to test some other functionality. You notice that right now I'm on an orbiting camera that's just orbiting around the board. And over here you can see that that's what's enabled in the hierarchy. But I've also got these player point of view cameras and there's also this far camera that's currently disabled. Well, let's take a look at this camera manager and you can see there's a camera manager script on there. And if we open that up in the editor, you can see I've got a function here to set the player point of view camera. I've got a function here to set the far camera and to set the orbit camera. And all three of those functions are decorated with a context menu attribute. So once again, we'll jump back out into Unity and let's right click on the camera manager and let's say set far camera. Hey, look at that. It transitioned right to the far camera. Let's right click and let's say set player point of view camera. And boom, it takes me to the red player point of view camera. And if we right click and say set orbit camera, it transitions back out to the orbit camera. So hopefully I can uh, you can see how that really could be useful to you and really speed up your workflow and really make it so you can test things a lot easier without having to hack in some buttons or create a big um, editor menu or something. Just adding that context menu attribute to a public function lets you test it right from within the editor. So if you found that useful and I really hope you did, do me a favor and click that like and subscribe button. It really does help me to get this content in front of as many people as possible. And I'm going to be doing a more in-depth tutorial on how to use Cinemachine cameras to achieve the kind of effects that you've seen there. And I'm also going to show you how to create a rollable die like I just demonstrated here. So keep your eyes open for those. In fact, click that notification bell and you can be notified the next time I post a video. Thanks so much for watching and good luck on your game development journey.